Developing and adopting a scientific opinion. EFSA receives requests for scientific advice from risk managers and other national food safety bodies. EFSA may also undertake work on its own initiative known as self-tasking. Once accepted by EFSA, requests become mandates. They are assigned to panels of scientific experts or the scientific committee. When necessary, EFSA sets up a working group of relevant experts to do the detailed scientific work for the risk assessment. The working group reviews all relevant available information from scientific literature as well as information provided by member states, industry and other stakeholders. EFSA often launches calls for data or requests additional data to help inform its risk assessment. Depending on the mandate, EFSA may carry out its work in cooperation with national food safety authorities in member states, as well as other EU or international bodies and scientific organisations. The panel carries out its work in relation to the mandate, evaluating the risks associated with the food, feed or process involved. The working group develops a draft opinion and submits it to the panel for discussion and possible adoption. EFSA often holds public consultations on its draft opinions, in particular when developing new guidance for risk assessment, as well as for issues of high public interest. Following public consultation, the scientific committee or panel reviews the feedback received and, where relevant, takes it into account in its final opinion. The scientific committee or panel adopts the opinion by consensus. Possible minority opinions are recorded. EFSA sends the opinion to whoever made the original request, risk managers, other national food safety bodies. EFSA's opinion is used by risk managers to support their policy making and legislative decisions on food or feed safety. The opinion is published in the EFSA journal, EFSA's open access online scientific journal. This is how EFSA helps protect consumers from food-related risks.